What is up, guys? What is up? Sunday, Sunday. Here at the shop. Finally got the red car all stripped down and out of here. We'll get back to that in just a second. We got some room here in the shop again. Got everything set up and ready for the the B20 hiding in the back of the truck over there. We got to back that dude up. I'm going to pressure wash that motor and stuff first before I bring it in. But we got a motor and a transmission for the EK B18, B1. Um, we got some door panels and stuff over there off the other car that we're going to get to use. Uh, what's left out of that car, he's going to take this and put it in his other Civic. He got a purple hatchback that he's going to put that seat in. Uh, we got a A1 left hand drive EK dash. Oh, well, I said A1. Never mind. Got some little blemish right there. Probably throw this one in the trash. I'm going to take the airbag out of it, use it in my dash. I might save these vents, but I'll probably throw the rest of this guy away. We got the K swap ready for Christian's car. All the stuff I took out of the other car, complete wiring harness. It has two small little mishaps that we're going to take care of when we put back together but everything is labeled and marked and ready to put it back to an OEM Civic steering column and everything um, as for the shell out here this baby is stripped Strip, strip, strip. Gonna pull that fuel pump out of here and that last plastic trim. The rest of this stuff, I try to keep that carpet navy, but the rest of it, adios amigo. I might pull these doors off too, just to hold on to them. I haven't quite really looked them over yet, but there's nothing left out here. It is all gone. Okay, so here is your Sunday Funday tip from TBK. When he bought this car, guys, remember what it looked like. Nice, straight body. Had the K-Swap, little set of rotas on it. Carbon fiber trunk. Again, straight, straight little body. All on the outside. Front end, the A1. No dents, dings, blemishes. Everything looked decent, and then with all the interior in it, it looked it looked good. So let's backtrack just a tad. Remember when we pulled the motor out? We realized that the front clip was just partially installed, to say the least. So whether it got wrecked, whatever the situation may have been, they changed out this front clip. The only thing holding it on was where the real bumper support used to be. <laughs> two bolts sandwiching the two pieces of metal together. Okay, they got some tack welds going on up here. But inside under the engine bay, all this was separated. All this was separated. So, front end put on, partially. Now, as I get to the inside of this car, now that we've taken all the interior and everything out, I come out here to rob two bolts I needed from the seat belts for my car. Now, first little thing I catch, it's a big old fat hole right there. Well, this floorboard is finna come out. Yes, sir. Then, on the opposite side, we have a good spot going on over here. Hell, I bet I could put my foot through this right now. Oh, yeah. That's out of there. The whole floor. The seat bracket. 
they held the seat on. It used to be attached right there. <laughs> the seat was bolted into it, but none of this shit was even attached to the car. So yeah, this whole floor pan didn't come out this car. You can see straight out to the ground. And then all of this is rotting out. But it ain't even rotten. I don't even know what, what was going on right here. It looks all ripped. But yeah. Tip from Tim. Whenever you're going to buy yourself a car, guys, just take an extra second and look everything over. Um, make sure, top to bottom, I mean, everything can look good from the outside. A lot of people can do lots of things and make them look presentable. But uh, inside is uh, what counts. Remember, price is what you pay. Value is what you get. Tips from TDK. What is up, everybody? So, Sunday fun day. Uh, the red car completely tore down. Completely. And it's gone and out of the shop. We got a little cleaning up to do in here, but first we are going to clean the two engines, the K series and the B series. Yeah, old red, she out of there. Everything gone. We'll drop the suspension next and uh, take that little turn to Mike Jackson's. But for now, They power wash these motors. Y'all come have fun with us. Sunday fun day. Alright guys, it's hot one, but we got everything off, stashed away in the shop, we got both motors cleaned, yes, 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 ready to get freshened up and get ready to be dropped back in. I got my transmission cleaned up. I'm gonna repaint that. I got my B series uh, cleaned up. Ready for a refresh. We're gonna yank a couple things off. Harness, hoses, all that good stuff. Might put it on the stand. Get that valve cover cleaned up. Actually, I might swap that one out for a different one. Swap that intake manifold, do a timing belt refresh, get rid of a couple pulleys there. This baby will be ready to go back into the red car. Got the trunk, got a little sanding to do on that. Let's see what we can do. But everything's off. Spots cleaned up, I give me a dolly put back under this tire and scoot the red car back over here a little bit where I can start putting some stuff on her. Get this baby ready to go in there. That's how we do. Sunday fun day. That's half of it. We'll call it today. Or half of it. <laughs> Come back out when it cools off. Meantime, don't forget to like. Follow and subscribe.
Adios.